Hey guys, Oscar Gastel, I'm here with Gretzo Roman with Big Block Realty. And our goal with you today is to share with you what it takes to get into a home in today's challenging but rewarding market. Gretzo, let's drill down. What does it take? What does it take to get into a home in today's market? So the first thing that buyers ask me is how much can I afford? And it always comes down to three components. Okay. Cash, credit, and income. Simple enough, let's drill down. Component number one was cash. Tell us a little bit about that. Lenders want to see the ability of a buyer to save. How much money have they saved in the last few months, in the last okay. few years? They also want to see how much you have for down payment. It could be 3.5%, it could be 5%, 10%, 20%, whatever it may be, but it also affects the type of loan that you can get. Okay. Then it comes to the source. Uh, we want to make sure that you don't have any mattress money. Mattress money, yeah, we definitely don't want that. Uh, sourcing is important. Now, there's different ways of structuring the deals uh, when it comes to negotiating, especially with your expertise as a real estate agent. Tell us a little bit about that and how that works. So one of the things that I do for you is I make sure that you always have enough money for closing costs. I can negotiate that for you and structure the offer in a way that maybe the seller can pay some of the closing costs or the lender can pay some of the closing costs or maybe a combination of both. Okay, now I think the key word there guys is negotiate. No one's obligated to do one or the other. So that's why it's important to work with a real estate expert that has that ability to negotiate. That kind of covers component number one in a glimpse, which is cash. Let's jump down to component number two, which is credit. So the most important thing about your credit would be your FICA score. And that is a score that the lenders use to determine your interest rate. Anything over 720, it's excellent credit. Anything between 680 and 719 is considered good credit. 640 to 679, it's okay. You can still get a loan. Okay. Now, when it comes to qualifying, I'm sure there's a factor or percentage that lenders are looking into to determine what someone can qualify for. What does that typically look like? Of course, when it comes to the debt to income ratio, lenders want to see no more than 40-45% of your income to go into your debt. Okay. That is, you take your gross income for the month mm -hmm. and you deduct all of the liabilities, your car loans, your credit card, your student loans, you deduct all of that and what you're left with, that would determine your monthly mortgage payment. So what they tend to do is back up into what someone can actually afford. Now that's the beauty of today's market guys, is that when obtaining a loan, you're not going to have the doubts of whether or not you can make the mortgage payment because the numbers don't lie. It all comes down to these percentages, right? Now this is a ballpark range. Correct. Okay. So component number three, income. Income. The most common um, income would be a W-2 right. income. It's okay. a fixed income. You make so much hourly or salary, whatever it is, it's a W-2. You get one every year. Um, a little bit more challenging would be a self-employed person where the lender would take a, an average of two years or the, 20, the last 24 months net income. Key word there is net, correct? Correct. Okay. And then they also want to see a two-year job history. Okay. So let, let me just throw a, a curveball at you here and, and, and ask of an example here. If I've been going to school for the last few years, uh, let's just say I got certified as an RN, I'm now working for a hospital, been there for three months, on fixed income, am I a candidate to be able to apply for a home loan? There are always exceptions to okay. all of these rules. That's why I encourage everybody to come and talk to me. Take 15, 20 minutes and talk to me, talk to my team, talk to our lenders so that we can determine what you can afford. Those are 15, 20 minutes well invested to find out if it makes sense for you and your family to purchase a home in today's market. For more information and more questions, Gretza, how do people get a hold of you? They can call me at 510-366-4110 or visit my website. You heard it here, guys. Oscar and Gretza, hope you enjoyed the information. We look forward to hearing from you soon.